Once again, welcome back everybody. My name's Sonny. Here we have uh, an update on the new 125 tank build. The first episode, if you've watched it, I was just scoping out where to put the tank, where to move everything. My sump's down in my basement. I had to run the lines up through the wall. Everything worked out nice. I have about 65 gallons of water in, inside the tank now. About 50 gallons of regular RO DI water. And I did a 10 gallon water change on my, on my 75 and put that in the tank. And once we start transferring everything upstairs, I'll put the rest of the water that's in the 75 inside the 125 to top it off. I put this biologic inside the water. It's an ecosystem in a bottle just to help it along. The water's been in there for about a week now. Like I said, next couple of days we're going to break down the 75 and bring it all upstairs. Temporary heater in there to keep the water warm. And a couple power heads just to circulate the water some so the water doesn't sit stagnant. Here we got a couple of probes for our Reef Keeper Elite system down here on the bottom. Got her all plumbed up. There's where I came through the wall, of course, from the basement to the sump. I found my stud right here, marked everything out. I wanted to go cut it. I'm cutting this line here, coming across, and I got five two by fours all next to each other. So I had to just move the hole over on the other side of the stud. Here's the inlets right there, Te teed off. Here's a reef keeper system. All plumbed up. I have to finish hooking everything up on the reef system. Once I put everything inside the tank, it filled up with the water. I have a Phillips uh, outlet here. It's a surge protector. It's 2300 joules, just in case we get a zap in the house. I don't start blowing my pumps and the reef keeper and my lights that I'm going to have. And then on my first episode, I talked about switching out this outlet here. I had a regular outlet there. I installed a GFI outlet just in case anything would leak or something would happen. Um, the uh, GFI breaker will actually pop and shut the whole system down. Good feature to have. Always have to have backup. You got the surge here. Eight plugs. And you have the uh, GFI outlet. There it is. Almost ready to go. I couldn't put my sump down here. My sump is way too big for this cabinet. So I left it downstairs inside the basement. I'm running about about 12, 12 13 feet of line hoses. I had to buy a bigger pump. I'll make another episode of that downstairs in the basement where the sump is. I actually left my saddles over there in the corner. I was going to move it on the other side of the uh, TV there. But I just moved the TV down a little bit and moved the saddles over. It was, uh, it was a little tight. The uh, handles were actually sticking out inside the walkway there. Now they're, they're all good to go. Plenty of room to walk by. I have the top up here.
That's it. You got it. The new 125. Can't wait to fill it up, break it down. Until next time, I'll see you uh, make another video in a couple days. Take care.